everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In today's video I want to talk about a big change coming to cPanel very very soon and I feel like the earlier we get this out the better. Um, so if you're familiar with this here at Name Hero, we're a high speed cloud web host. We offer shared cloud hosting, reseller cloud hosting, and VPS cloud hosting. We specialize in managed WordPress hosting. We find that 98% of our customers, they use WordPress in one capacity or another. So if you're looking for a web host and we invite you to our platform, the good thing about us here at Name Hero is you can start off for under $4 a month and then you can kind of scale on up as your website grows. We know how important it is to have a website, especially for a startup or individuals that are looking to get their brand out there, get the material out there. Um, but then as you grow and get more visitors, we have packages for you. The good thing about us being on the cloud is you can scale seamlessly. You don't have to worry about downtime or um, long migrations or anything like that. That said, if you're moving over from another web host, HostGator, Bluehost, we will migrate your website over for free. So make sure that you ask our sales representatives for more information if that pertains to you. But with that sales pitch out of the way, I want to talk about the big announcement from cPanel today that's going to affect pretty much everyone that uses cPanel, and that is the removal of Squirrel Mail. So cPanel just announced on their blog today that they are removing Squirrel Mail from cPanel in the um, 6, 74th release of the uh, software. So those of you familiar with cPanel, um, I believe they're currently at 68. So we've got a couple of weeks until this happens, but they're already letting everyone know that this is going to be happening. So if we go down here, we can talk about why. First, let me talk about Squirrel Mail for a second. Squirrel Mail has been my favorite webmail client in cPanel for at least a decade now. And let me show you what it looks like really quick, and then we'll talk more about why it's going away. So right now I'm in my name hero client area. I'm going to navigate to my um, package. So I'm going to be using my plus cloud package key diets. And I'm going to go into cPanel. And once this comes up, I'm going to go over to email accounts. And the only email account I have on this one is the default account. So I'm going to access webmail. And you'll see squirrel mail is right here. So you can see inside of cPanel for many, many years, you've had Horde, RoundCube, and SquirrelMail. It's been your three different options. And this, if you're a reseller, your customers um, will be affected by this too. So it's, if you're watching this, you might want to get the word out to them. Um, I'm also doing a blog post, so you're going to have that uh, information out there, and I'm going to blast it across our social channels. Um, but while I'm, I'm talking about being subscribed, I want to remind you, if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, make sure you are subscribed to our channel. You just click the subscribe button, and then you're notified notified automatically when new videos come out. Obviously, this is the first place we put our content. Before our blog, before social media, it goes on YouTube. So you're going to be the first in the know um, by having that on there. And I'm also going to send out a notification to everyone that subscribes to our Chrome and browser-based notifications so you're sure to see this. But Squirrel Mail has always been one of my favorite clients. Um, the reason being is it's really lightweight and it loads things really fast. Now, obviously, this is a demo account, so I don't have any email emails, but even if you did have hundreds of thousands of emails, uh, Squirrel Mail has always been the client that loads lightning fast. And I know it's never been much to look at. You know, it's always been a very basic HTML um, type editor. And you can see if you send an email, you know, it's not as fancy as Gmail, you not as fancy as Hotmail or other services out there, but it's very reliable and always has been. So I am personally a little sad to see it go because when I've, when I've needed webmail with um, cPanel, I've used Squirrel Mail. Um, I did notice a couple years ago, I think it was back in 2013, was the last time they updated it. So sometime in 2014, you know, I was like, well, there's nothing really being added feature-wise, but I also wasn't noticing any updates. And when that starts happening, you kind of know that the developers um, have lost interest in the project. So I personally started moving over to Horde. Um, I, I feel like I really like how they handled the deletion of emails. So that's the one I've been going to. So let's talk about why they're killing it off. So in their blog post, they announced that it is version 74, um, and they'll stop shipping it and new installations in version 76 and then remove it from their support in 78. So they're, they will begin the depreciation process in 74, and it will no longer be in new installs at 76, and 78 they will quit support. So I'm assuming sometime in the middle or between 78 or so, it will begin to be removed. So again, you still have several months, and it might even take up to a year. I'm not sure how, how fast they plan on getting to 78 when they're at 68 right now, but of course it is coming. 
So since they've announced this, you know, it's always best to start making the transition now, especially if you have you are a reseller or maybe you're just an organization and you have 10, 20 employees all using Squirrel Mail. It's good to start um, letting them get used to other other platforms while they still have the Squirrel Mail so they can kind of revert back to it and become familiar. Um, and it's not like a sudden hit overnight. So it talks about why it was added in the first place um, uh, more than a decade ago, and it hasn't changed much, um, and it it hasn't had, um, you know, a lot of um, features in it, um, but it was very stable. And and that's what I've already said in this email. It was very reliable. When other of the applications failed or didn't load, Squirrel Mail was always there. Um, But why is it being removed? It's an all too common story with open source projects. And, you know, open source means it's free, and it means that a community works on it. Well, unfortunately, with open source, free open source, over time, if things don't really keep catching on, people just lose interest in it. And um, that's the case with Squirrel Mail. It was last updated on on May 30th, 2013. Their last release was in July 2011. And in those last seven years, we have seen four versions of PHP reach end of life. And um, cPanel has worked to maintain Squirrel Mail's functionality and security, but it's now getting to the point where it's just causing too much of a headache than it's worth. And I assume really until they get to 78, it's going to keep being a thorn in their side um, as their dev team has to come up with patches and, you know, kind of fix it. So they're actually spending time that they could spend developing cPanel on actually securing um, Squirrel Mail and making sure it's shipped safely because that's a great thing about cPanel's team. They take security very serious. And I met with the the cPanel team in Fort Lauderdale this year, or, or last year, last fall, and um, this was one of the things we talked about was security of the applications that come inside of cPanel. You know, they, they're very cautious about anything that ships with their software. So we can see that's the case um, with Squirrel Mail, and even though it is unfortunate, um, they, they have an option to keep it, but at Name Hero, we will not be keeping it. If you have a VPS, you're more than welcome to follow the documentation and install it yourself, but um, we go with what cPanel has at Name Hero, and we do that for security. So it will be removed from all of our share and all of our resellers. Um, our VPSs, they will automatically update as well and it'll be removed unless you specifically um, keep it. So you can follow their directions here if you would like to. If you say, well, you know, I just can't get rid of it, then um, you know there is an option for you. We're not saying you cannot have it, but we can no longer support it because cPanel will no longer be supporting it. Our team, this is our teams are specifically trained on cPanel. We we actually have our level three techs they have to pass the level two cPanel certification from cPanel University and actually have a certificate and present it to our management and keep that updated on a yearly basis so it's part of our training here at Name Hero for our team and if it's outside of that training then you know it kind of goes on outside of the support scope so now let's talk about Squirrel Mail's replacement. And this is why I like working with cPanel and why I've used cPanel for nearly 20 years now. Um, their development team, they love feedback, you know, and they love comments from everyone. And it doesn't matter if you're me and, and you have thousands of servers or if you're an individual with one server, maybe just one VPS. They welcome feedback from everyone. Even if you don't have your own server, if you're a shared user, they welcome feedback. So they've got, um, they've got a spot open, obviously, for webmail. And they said the only thing that's came up so far is after Logic Lite. And they said it hasn't garnered much interest yet. So you can see that someone's put on here, add after Logic Webmail Lite. Uh, three years ago it was added and only 10 people have liked it, but there's been no dislikes. So if you like After Logic, you can check it out at their site here. Then you can go over here and upvote it. So if you like it, you can like it here and, you know, they can get garner interest to where they'll put it in there. So you can kind of, um, you know, demo it here on their site and, and learn more about it. It's afterlogic.org um, slash webmail dash light. So if that's uh, you know something that you like, that is an open discussion. But also, if you have another webmail client that maybe you're using currently with another host or maybe you've used on other servers, they want to know. So they've got um, their official Twitter for their dev team, cPanel Dev. You can um, use that to reach out to them and let them know, or you can add it to their feature request site. And you know this is a good feature or a good um, 
part of cPanel is they have a whole site set up for features. So not only webmail, if you have other features that you want in cPanel, you can ask in here and people can upvote it. And if it gets enough upvotes, then they put it in cPanel. So, um, you know, this is the beauty and the joy of working with cPanel. They are very active in the community as a whole. And uh, me personally, you know, I'm very active um, with their community and going to their conferences and speaking to their management and speaking to the developers to make sure that we're getting all the features that Name Hero needs as a whole. All of our customers, all of our resellers, all of our resellers' customers, and of course, all of our VPS clients. And we feel like um, a lot of um, our success stems from the ease and use of cPanel, how it makes it very easy for anyone, despite any technical knowledge, they can use cPanel rather e easily to manage their whole site. So make sure that you do take advantage of their features site here. And if there is that webmail client that no one's really talked about, then, um, you know, mention it here and, and get it on their feature request site or hit them up on Twitter. You know, it's always an easy thing. Just tweet at them and, um, you know, they're very active. They will read it and respond. So anyways, that's that with Squirrel. Mail. It's sad to say goodbye after all these years together, but um, they, they say all good things eventually come to an end, and that's the case with Squirrel Mail. So I wanted to record this video and get that out there to the Name Hero community to get it out to all of our customers so you can begin telling your resellers. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. You're not going to wake up to it gone tomorrow, but um, I would assume over the next year, over the next two years, you know, you're going to see this. Um, these versions keep coming, and you're going to eventually see it gone. So the earlier we get this out. Uh, and the more we start talking about a replacement, the easier this entire process is. So if you have any questions for Name Hero, um, even me personally, feel free to comment on this YouTube video. I'm going to do a blog post so you can comment there. You can reach out to our support team via chat or you can give us a call or submit a ticket. And they'll make sure that the appropriate person in management gets it. So, you know, if you have a lot of people using it and you just want some recommendations on how to handle this, then we'd be more than happy to give our input. Um, but ultimately, this decision goes down to cPanel. You know, this is something we cannot veto. They've already announced it's going away. And, um, you know, with the security aspect of it, it makes sense. And we do agree with it, even though it is sad to see it go. Um, it is happening. So let's make sure that we all kind of group together here and, um, you know, work as work with this as we continue to adapt, develop and progress our main motto here at Name Hero. So again, let us know if you have any questions, but thanks so much for watching and um, good luck with your new cPanel webmails coming up.